Hi, I'm LaShawn and welcome to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time here and you want to be inspired on a daily basis, then this is the perfect place for you. Start now by subscribing and clicking the bell. Hello, hello. My name is LaShawn and welcome to my YouTube channel. This is a very simple lifestyle vlog where I get here every morning and I try to uplift, encourage, and inspire as many people as I possibly can. Let me tell you a little bit about myself. I am the divorced mother of three adult children. I have two boys and a girl. I am a United States Navy veteran. I'm also a surgical tech. I am disabled and I work full time here now from my home. I am a hustler. That's right, I'm a hustler. I get up every day and I work. I do something for my YouTube channel every single day and I love what I do. I love to help people, uplift people, encourage people and talk about the love of the Lord. That's right. So this is my new intro. So here I am, <laughs> and if you like what you see, click like, share, comment, and come back here on a daily basis. So, here's today's video. I am trying desperately to get ready for this day. And some days, you know it's going to be tough. Some days, you just know it's going to be a rough one. But you have to... Lift your head up, and you have to really just brace yourself. If you are a praying person, you should start your day with prayer. It'll help you get through days like this when everything is aching, every body part hurts, but you can do it. You can get up each day with a positive attitude and it'll change everything, okay? So today is physical therapy and I'm stalling and <laughs> physical therapy is very difficult for me now at this phase, at this chapter that I am in. Physical therapy is not my favorite thing to do. But what I have learned is that those things that I hate doing is what's best for me. Okay, <laughs> it's what's best for me. So I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna head out with a positive attitude and go and do this physical therapy. I'm not taking nothing. I've decided that I'll just do story times and things of that nature. It's, it's best for me because it's getting to where I am just so out of breath, just walking from here to there or going for a walk or going to the mailbox and everything. My whole dynamics have changed. Okay, my life has changed. This is my new life and I embrace it. I embrace each chapter because it just means I have to adjust in order to make it. I was through with physical therapy, okay? I thought I was through. But you know, each hospital stay, each time that you get a setback, you have to be reevaluated in your whole situation changes again. But let's not complain. Let's start off by, by uh, talking about all the things that we should be grateful for, that we should be thankful for. And I am thankful that I have a place to live. I have food to eat. And uh, I am not in the hospital. Those things I'm thankful for. I'm thankful for this little apartment. And I say that all the time because I have more peace in this little place than I ever had in my life before these last couple of years. This apartment is a blessing. I prayed for this apartment. I talked to God about this apartment and I manifested it. And I believe that because it is such a waiting list uh, for low income. This is a low income apartment by Jacksonville Housing Authority. It's a list. And they told me the list was going to be, I think they said 18 to 24 months or something like that, but it didn't take that long. And so I just say, you know, I'm going to do all the things that I need to do to get this place. And just in that, you can use that analogy to say, I'm going to do whatever I got to do to get through this difficult day, this difficult time, this difficult chapter, because this is going to be a difficult day for me. But I'm ready for it. I've already prepared myself. I've already uh, calmed myself and got myself in the right 
frame of mind. That is very important. Also, you have to release all of the bad vibes from yesterday. I know something might have happened yesterday that really, you were like, it really made you mad and everything. You got to shake it. And I say that it's easy to say, but it could be something that's trying to trickle into this day. And that is a red flag. When you have something from the previous day that is still weighing on you, you need to pray about it and get rid of it because it's all it's going to do is, is weigh you down and you're taking all that ugly, toxic uh, message, behavior, people with you until the next day. And uh, them people ain't thinking about you. That that uh, People just will say and do whatever they want to step on you, whatever, and then just roll on out the door. Just say, oh, she don't matter. And you have to get a thicker skin in order to deal with people like that. It's a lot of them out here. If they in the YouTube comments. They everywhere. So you have to prepare yourself and put on your armor and pray, do your affirmations, and get ready for each day. So this is my morning routine. This is what I do every single day. Whether I got to deal with a difficult day or not, I get up and prepare myself. So that's the message of this video. I have a difficult day ahead. I have physical therapy. I have to get myself together for that. This is true. But on any given day, you have to get up and get ready and put on your armor and prepare yourself for the day that's on the other side of that door. Because you can you can pretty much control a little stuff here. You can control a little stuff inside your apartment, you know, when you eat, when you don't eat, when you cook. Those are things that you can control. When you walk out that door and you're dealing with other people, other attitudes, other um, just other people's way of living, sometimes it doesn't quite mesh with how you're trying to live. And it causes confusion, chaos, and all kind of stuff. And we don't want any chaos. We don't want anything that might come in and ruin our peace. We like peace around here. We love peace. We crave peace. That's what we want. We don't want no chaos. And some people wake up with chaos. They hold day filled with chaos. They go to bed with chaos. Hey, who got time for that? I know I don't. I'm just too busy living my life. I'm too busy praising God. I'm too busy loving my children. I'm too busy taking care of my ailments, mind, body, and spirit so that I can live another day. Okay? So that's my message for the day. If you have a difficult day that you have to face, prepare yourself, mind, body, and soul. Okay? So that's it. That's all I got for you. And at this time in the video, I like to stop and I like to breathe in and breathe out. I've been doing it for so long. And for those couple of minutes or seconds or however long you decide to breathe in and breathe out, it gives me a sense of calm. And I do it because it makes me feel better. You don't have to if you don't want to. Like I said, it makes me feel better. Okay? So at this time, we're going to breathe in, breathe out, and get ready for this difficult day. Okay? Let's get ready for it. Let's prepare ourselves. We're all prayed up. We did our affirmations. So now we're going to breathe in and breathe out and get our day started. You ready? Breathe in, breathe out. We thank you, Father God. We are grateful for another day. We are grateful that we're able to walk, Father God. We are grateful that we're able to see because when I walk out that door this morning, I'll see the sun, I'll see the birds, and I know that I am blessed because I woke up. Thank you, Father God, for another day. So wherever you headed today, wherever you got to go, remember to be happy, be joyful, put a smile on your face, okay? And be kind. Don't be rude to people. It's really no reason to be rude to people. Now, you will have people who will try to steal your peace, but just don't let them. Just walk away if you can or just walk in the other direction because it's going to be negative people. They everywhere. Okay. They everywhere. But just turn your head and say, you know what? I'm not going to be rude today. Okay. You're not going to steal my peace. Thank you, Father God. 
I feel so happy this morning. You know why? Because I took the time to do this video because I had stuff going on in my mind and I have to talk about it. It makes me feel better. And I hope and pray that this video helped at least one person, okay? So wherever you're headed today, be happy, be joyful, and put a smile on your face, okay? And remember, God loves you and so do I. Goodbye, everybody. Bye-bye. Thank you guys for watching today. Hope you enjoyed today's video. Take a minute to leave a comment. I look forward to talking to you soon. Bye.